I want to find great trades, but I don't have hours a day to spend on this. How can I cut to the quick and find these stocks without having to spend all this time? Hello traders, it's Sunday morning, March 28th, and I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to use custom alerts within Option Stalker Pro to help you cut down all, on all of this search time. So first, we'll bring up the custom alerts. Very, very important to know what you're looking for. What types of trades suit your personality? Personally, I like to trade stocks that have excellent momentum and that are moving higher. So I'm going to look for decent option liquidity. And by knowing what you're looking for, you can select the variables that are going to match that personality. If a stock is above its 50-day moving average, above its 100-day moving average, above its 200-day moving average, there's a pretty decent chance that it's got some really excellent strength. So now that I have this big list of stocks, way too much for me to try and manage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to narrow that. Always start your searches with a wide net. Cast a very wide net and then draw it in. Let's look for stocks that are in a compression. So the stock has been really strong, but right now it's just kind of taking a breather. If you looked at the market the last couple of weeks, you can see, especially in the last week, it's been drifting lower. Well, here's a stock that's been compressing while the market's going down. That would actually be a form of relative strength. So let's click scan and let's see what we've got. So now we've got a much smaller list of stocks and I'm going to copy that list and put it in the upper section. But I'm not quite done yet. These are the stocks that the custom search engine is going to be looking at. Now, what is my trigger criteria? I had mentioned to you that the stock was in a compression. So how about we look for stocks that are now out of a compression? That is going to be my trigger event. Let me repeat that because it's a very important point. Right now, all of these stocks are compressing. And we can take a look at any one of them. Let's use GM, for instance. I'm going to move this off screen so we can focus on GM. And you can see that I have the 1OP squeeze indicator right here on the chart, and it's a yellow dot, which tells me that the stock is compressing. Oh yeah, we've got a nice little bullish flag here, perhaps. We have other stocks like WBA on the list as well. We'll just take a look. There you go, there's your compression. So what we're waiting for is a compression out. And so that compression is resolved on the upside. In this particular case, it means that this is a bullish flag formation. The stock has tested that resistance level, now support, and it's ready to run. I can also add alerts. As I see these, I would click GTC and I would click right on that candle because if the stock gets above that, I'm going to want to know about it anyway. Anytime that I'm looking at stocks, I should always be dropping these alert lines right here. So let's go back and review what we've got working here. So we have stocks that are in a compression and are above the major moving averages, and we are looking for them to be out of the compression on a bullish way, not a bearish way, on a bullish way, and we'll get an alert in a lower right hand corner when those conditions are met. I still have one more step and I need to save this search and I'm going to have it bullish and I'm going to put compression out. And then I can list the uh, criteria down below, compression in and now out, something like that. It'll help you because when you hover over the My Alerts, you'll be able to understand what you set up for this. And I'll show you that in a second. So we're going to save and close. Then we're going to go into Scanner. And when I go into Scanner, I'll see My Alerts. Compression out. So now I'll be watching this compression out search result. You can see it populated right here. This is actually going to clear tomorrow morning and then the search will actually be run and this would list all the stocks that are coming out of that D1 compression. So that is one approach that you can use if you like to trade strength as I do. So let's clear all of this, clear all those symbols out, 
and we're going to complete completely clear that compression out we're going to run a different search let's say that you are a bottom fisher that is your personality and you love to try and buy stocks once they've sold off so what we're going to do is we're going to look for stocks that are less than the 200 day moving average we'll run a scan look lots of candidates in here and you're probably going to see some that you're pretty interested in wkhs has been a hot one look walmart's below the 200 day we've got shop below there we've got uh just going to go up the list and see if i can pick out some stocks Gilead is in there uh we've got ddog all sorts of bynd so in any event what we want to do now is we've got these symbols. We're going to copy them. And we're going to paste them. Remember, they all have excellent option liquidity because that was our criteria. And they've all been below the 200-day moving average. And now what we will do is we will mark stock above 200-day moving average. So all of these stocks have been below the 200-day moving average. When they're above the 200-day moving average, we will get an alert down in the lower right-hand corner. So I'm going to name this search. And again, this would be a bullish search. And I could name it uh, less than 200-day. And here I'll just use a description, less than 200-day. Now greater than 200 day and we'll save that search and actually I'm going to make this greater than 200 day that would be a better description and I can't use that sign right there so I'll just use 200 day and that'll be fine so it didn't like that special character but there's my search right there so I can come in and I can see these under my alerts again this is an option pro feature click that That'll give me my compression out. Click that. That'll give my search results for was less than the 200 day. Now, 200 day has been breached to the upside. And additionally, when I log into Option Stalker, I'll have my alerts in the lower right hand corner so I'll know exactly where to look for these opportunities. So we'll just put up BYND because I know that was one of the searches that came up. And you can see BYND below the 200 day moving average. You can also see a nice downward sloping trend line here. When that stock is above the 200 day, that downward sloping trend line will also be breached. Yes, could be an excellent opportunity. Maybe it's a long, maybe it's a chance for you to sell an out of the money bullish put spread. Maybe you like selling naked puts. Super easy and you don't have to do a lot of legwork. So make sure that you use that custom alert feature you can also go in and do all sorts of great day trading type searches. So let's go in and just do a shorter term day trading type search. And let's say that uh, the stock is HA2, meaning that it has two flat green bottom candles. That would be an indication of decent momentum. Let's just click to see how many results we get. We don't get many. So I'm just going to highlight those. And part of the reason for that is that the market has been down. And so most stocks follow the market. They've also been down. But these would probably be some very good stocks to look for. And instead of having HA2 bullish, what I'm going to do for that search is I'm going to put HA2 plus, meaning that now it's added a third green bottom candle. That would be one way that I can approach it. Another way I can approach it is, hey, these stocks are already super strong. Show me a stock that's greater than the prior day's high. And so for any of these candidates tomorrow, Monday, these are going to be live in the search. And as soon as they are above the prior day's high, I'm going to get a pop-up alert. Let's take a look at a few of these stocks. I'm going to move this off to the side so we can take a look at the candidates. They should all be really strong stocks. Cisco, look at that beautiful breakout. So if Cisco is above the high from Friday, I'm going to get an alert. 
D, breaking through that 100-day. Nice breakout above horizontal resistance. Looks nice. J and J through the 50-day right there. Looks pretty good. MMM. Looks great. You could do anything with this also. You could also come in and say, well, yeah, I wanted to the prior day's high. Let's say this was a very exhaustive list that you had maybe 20 or 30 symbols in. Stock above prior day high and heavy volume today. Now show me those stocks. Those are going to be really high probability trades. That's how we use the custom alerts to help us identify trades. So again, first of all, make sure that you know what it is that you're looking for because that's going to determine which of these variables you use. Are you looking to bottom fish? Are you looking for momentum? Once you select those uh, criteria, then you simply go in and say, okay, well, what conditions are they that are going to trigger that alert? So in this case, heavy volume above prior days high. That's how you do it. This is going to make it so easy for you. What you have to do is just remember the routine that you used for that particular search because these lists are going to change on a daily basis. For the first one that I showed you, the 50-day, 100-day, 200-day, this one's not going to change very often with that compression in. So you can do this once a week, update the list, copy the symbols, set your criteria to compression out, and you'll be set. I hope this helps you use this alert feature, and I hope that it helps you become more efficient in finding these trading setups via the alerts. Thank you. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. I'm Pete Stolzers and I'm gonna keep the trade ideas coming along with lots of education. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and please turn on your notifications so that you never miss another trade. If you like the content, please give it a thumbs up. I've loaded two other videos that I think you're really going to enjoy. Stay tuned, we'll see you soon.